Howdy everyone, it's me once again. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. Where I'll be talking about the movies, of course. Or anything else is related to Disney. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, there's a good chance I'll be talking about it, obviously. So, alright, I'm going to keep this fairly short because it's going to be something about something stupid as again. Yeah, it's, it's in regards of this one side, I keep bringing up in these videos, and to be more specific, I guess, it's in regards of this, in this visual, who, of course, is like super religious, and he believes that his path of life, his his specific version of Christianity, anyway, to be the right way of living. Even though there's multiple different branches of Christianity, but whatever, he belongs to this yeah, family research council, I don't think, and yes, yeah, like this kind of American religious activist group, and they pretty much want to be like this think tank type of thing. And they're basically that they're, they're this labyrinth, labyrinth organization. Excuse me if I butcher that. But basically, they just want to be this family, fucking family values that opposes stuff like access to porn, uh, the LGBT plus rights, stem cell research. Divorce and you know other things, of course. Same sex. Yeah, anything in, in union for the LGBT plus community or LGBT plus adoption stuff like that. That stuff like that, folks. But again, let's just get to the point. I guess. Oh boy. Basically, he did his article here, which is this. So racism. So apparently, this is going on the extreme end. Just for helping the LGBT plus community, which makes no sense because that's not that's not how that works. Like that's not how that works, like at all. So yeah, anybody, yeah, the LGBT plus community and their allies, they're a bunch of nut jobs. It's because, according to him, a video was leaked so that the Amer American people can understand that just what kind of fantasy land the organization is is living in which of course is a form of gaslighting the corporate company uh of course you know this guy over here i guess he, he mentioned some other people of course long story short he's just trying to paint the picture a uh, scary image of the company's future because according to his research that he had done for this article roughly 50 percent of these characters in future projects, uh, roughly 50 of them, according to him, are going to be related to the LGBT plus community. And I don't know how we would know that. Why would the character need to address their sexual orientation in the movie? And I guess it depends on the context of the, of the story. I've seen plenty of straight people in movies. I've seen a lot of them who are in straight relationships, the traditional sense and whatnot. But I don't see them saying, oh, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. You don't see, like, every character in a straight movie and stating that they're straight. Same thing with the LGBT plus community. Why would they have to address their sexual orientation? I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on the context of the story, maybe, I guess. But I'm just saying that in the general sense. Why would they have to? They just want, okay, that th those two mommies or two daddies. That, that that doesn't argue me that doesn't argue mean they're gay or, or lesbian. They could be bi, you know. And I don't know how is that in his business anyway. How is that in his business? How do you measure that? What do you mean fifty? What do you mean fifty percent? Where did you get that from? Basically, what I'm trying to get at is that it has to be a very 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 specific circumstance that their sexual orientation would be addressed. Otherwise, what would be the point? I, I don't get it. I really did, did the character go to some gay dating site? Did a character go to maybe a gay chat room? Those exist. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. They're trying to sh express like my, a minority group, I guess, and other minority groups. That's what's pissing you off. That, that's bug that's bugging you. What are you a Christian nationalist? But yeah, it just seems like it anyway. So people are getting panic about this kind of a thing, but what's 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 the idea here? So you're thinking there's some sort of spiritual war thing going on with the company? I don't get it. Instead of just guns, 
on bazookas. You know, stuff like that, tanks and some whatever. Instead of that, it's like a spiritual warfare kind of a thing. Because when it comes to this kind of a thing, because because they like morality. How do you know they like morality? Should that be down to the individual, and not the sexual orientation? And why would there be a war anyway? I still I, I still need a lot of lots of clarification here. So I'm just thinking, what are you talking about? And of course, mind your business. And obviously, people like the, this guy who wrote the this this article, of course, going to take jabs at the LGBT plus. Also, not just the gays, the bi's, and the lesbians or whatever, but of course, at the trans people. Because uh, when aren't they too busy turning turning prince into princesses? I mean, that's not how that works. They're not trying. Mm -hmm. And again, trying to say that they're trying to turn men into women. Just what? No, okay. For, first of all, it's like a whole can of worms which I don't want to get to really too much because this is something I've discussed quite a bit for before. I mean, okay, there's some there's some women who are born um okay different sure, and they want to have a sex change. They want to make sure their out oral parents match the way they on their inside, which in itself is not a bad thing. How is that your business? You're going to lift up the skirt and see if they have a, a cock or something? What? And now, another thing, what if they're intersex? Well, people who are hermaphrodite or intersex, however you want to say that. The, 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 they, people like that are born like that, and they're going to identify as female male depending on who you're talking to. Uh, and how is that your business anyway? I'm confused. How is any of this your business? How is it so difficult to leave these people alone? These people, these individuals, just want to live their lives. That's literally it. They're not attacking you. They're not bothering you, but you're bothering them. And if they retaliate, you act as if they're bothering you, which was never the case. That didn't, that's not how they started off, like, at all. You're the one that's bothering everybody. Yeah, this entire thing is just bizarre. It's really weird. I have no idea what's going on here exactly. This is so asinine. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. As always, until next time. See ya. Oh, yeah. Later.